so there is a mega event starting in england in the few weeks time that is the commonwealth games uh, the last time that south africa played a t20 world event uh, you were the star of the show in the semi final in sydney uh, how do you see your your growth since that day in sydney and how will you t- talk about and describe the personal growth that you have have had yeah i think um, i think that game changed quite a quite a bit in in my career and i think after that going to the big bash and and working with with different people playing with different players obviously um that that's high class players um i think that really helped as well and just develop my game and and learn just to learn more about myself and my game and the way i go about things so i think that um really helped obviously with with international um cricket or professional sports in general it's always a bit of a roller coaster ride and and you have your ups and downs so but i think definitely um helped a lot and um you learn so much and you just grow so much as a player throughout the year so um yeah definitely helped and then hopefully um that little bit of experience i gained from that will will come handy into the series you have had most success in the t20 format of the game so should i say narendra clark's best suited format is t20 cricket is that something that you also see it that way um i uh, i prefer t20 cricket um i love the t20 format and I, i've i've done a lot better in it but um yeah I, i still feel like cricket's cricket is cricket um i feel it doesn't really doesn't really matter on the format i feel it's it's at the end of the day it's still a cricket ball and a bat you just have to go out there and 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 back yourself and play the best cricket that you possibly can um but Yeah from a personal point of view I definitely prefer T20 cricket um I love I love T20 cricket I love the format um and yeah but hopefully hopefully going forward um I can become just as good in 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 ODI cricket and and basically play the same game in in both formats I was going through some things while doing my research and I came across this fact the last time when commonwealth games had cricket South Africa did win a gold medal but you were not still born yet. So how does that <laughs> uh, fall into your head when you think about it the last time when they played they won the gold you were not even born then. <laughs> um yeah I think I think that just shows again where women's cricket is heading. Um like I don't even think that I would have dreamed of um you know that this our team is going to the Commonwealth Games and and it's like you actually have a chance to compete there um in a cricket tournament so i think that's another special thing especially now in england playing the test in england um heading in commonwealth games it's obviously two things that we've never experienced before that we've never had um so i think yeah that really sums up where women's cricket is about to go and and the growth that um there's been in women's cricket in the past 5 years and it shows that that the women are more than capable of of taking this game to the next level as well the fact that the men's team has already won a gold does that put some pressure on the side or is there something mentally uh, you guys are preparing for is that something there no not really i think at the end of the day um we obviously want to give ourselves the best chance of of winning the gold medal and um we want to go out there and and try our very best to do that uh but i don't really think um that we are too concerned about what what happened in the past or what might happen in the future i think um it's a first time for everybody so we just really want to go and have fun and i always say that if you have fun you do a lot better so i think as long as we really enjoy it and and give it our 100% then i think um we'll give it we'll give it a good go and and we might end up on the winning side so yeah i think that is pretty much where we are you did mention the the, the... game has grown the women's game has grown in the past few years uh, if your team were to, was to win a medal now in the commonwealth games how big will that be a boost uh, for the girls back home or how 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 do you think that can help the growth of the women's game even more now massively i think um i think that will just show again um i think especially in south africa the way women's cricket has grown in the past 5 6 years has been has been massive um and there's obviously a lot of young girls that that looks up to playing for the proteas one day and um obviously you know at some stage there's there's going to be new new players coming into the system or into the pipelines and um and i think just 
all these new things that's happening kind of shows that you can make a career out of out of women's cricket and it's not just the thing that you play for fun and games it's a professional professional sport professional environment and it's something that you can take up very seriously if if you want to do that so yeah i think and i think winning it will be will will obviously be massive i think it's um taking gold at the commonwealth i don't think anyone will complain when when that does happen so that would be great is there one player that we should watch out for, for from the south african team for the commonwealth games and you have to name me give me one name from your team and one name from the seven other teams i think if i have to go in our team i actually i actually have two that i think um, i think laura fort is definitely one to watch out i think um she has grown as a cricketer as well in the past 5 or 6 years um especially as a t20 player and then i think our main all rounder obviously marion cup who has been in brilliant form um in these past couple of years so i think definitely from our team that's that's two players to to look out for but at the end i think there's quite a quite a few big names i think like alisa healy and sophie devine is probably two of the most destructive uh, t20 batters that um that there is around the world so i think it will be very interesting to see how they go about their business um when it comes to the commonwealth games let's talk about your uh, cricketing career so far the international career that you have had you have almost impressed whenever you have been given an opportunity but again there has been times when you have been in and out of the side does that disappoint you and if if obviously it does how, how do you cope up with that as a young player it's something that i think other young players can also learn from yeah i think um, i mentioned it earlier as well where i said um I've had a really um roller coaster ride of a career and it's it's very tough at times we all know professional sport is not a it's not for the season it's, it's not a joke it is tough and it can become a real mental thing at stages but I think obviously I know that there's certain players like Marizan Kapoor and Anthony Kerko whoever that's been in the side for quite a few years and they are quality quality players um players that we all look up to and um the rise of our of our standing captain in Sunai and um you know there's a lot of players that we look up to and that's that's been putting in the hard work in the past couple of years so i think it's just about waiting your turn and whenever you do get the opportunities to really uh, make use of it doesn't always happen but i think you have to you have to be um ready for any opportunity that comes your way and um you have to deal with the disappointments um i try not to think about it too much i just try and go back home and and keep on working and um try and get ready and be excited for the next opportunity i get so um spend a lot of time with my family listen to music and stuff just to help me calm down or settle the nerves or whatever and and that's kind of that's kind of what i do and and just try and get better every single day and wait my turn i guess and and just make the best of every opportunity i get you made a mark at a national level at a very young age can you just talk me through how did your cricketing career begin and what took for you to reach at this stage because playing for your country representing your country at an international level is a huge deal in any country for that matter so how did that journey turn out yeah i think luckily i grew up with with the older brother so um he was crazy about cricket and we used to play in the backyard and stuff so i started playing for northerns uh at my provincial le- or provincial um league when i was 11 years old and then i just kind of it was so much fun after school just to go and play and and forget about school and you know you just play with your friends and stuff and then i don't know i just kept on playing and playing until i got a, i got a sa call up in in 2017 and obviously to to make your debut at such a young age i think again it's it's really special some i think sometimes you take it for granted you you forget about what it actually means or what it means to to make your debut at such a young age so i think that was really special and still till this day i really uh really proud to put on the the proteus jersey every time i play um every time i sing the national anthem i still get goosebumps so it's something that i really um really and it's just um yeah it's it's so special it it never goes away even though i've been here for five or four or five years but it never goes away it's still very exciting to, to play for my country so yeah 